Justice League are hunting you down for what you did to Ronald McDonald back in 1946. And you're gonna die if you don't listen to me. Because honestly, I don't think you can beat some of these guys. So be happy I'm here because you need me. Luckily, you don't have to fight them all at once and you have prep time. First, you've got Batman and he's not gonna hold back. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's gonna be if you don't listen to me. What you're gonna need is a gun and a name tag with the name Martha Wayne. And the second Batman sees this, he's gonna be all like, bah, Martha, no, no. Nice, that's one down, but there's nine more and they're not gonna be as easy. Because Cyborg is on his way and he's nothing like Batman because he's half machine, but we're gonna use that to our advantage. Now, what do computers hate? Viruses, but his computer systems are just far too advanced for us to stick a USB in there. We need a better approach. So what do humans love? Free Roblox. I got caught out on these scams a thousand times. I gave my email, my parents' credit card information and a damn mortgage. I don't know how I got my hands on one, but it's gone and now my PC doesn't work. So if we give Cyborg an offer he simply cannot refuse, it will only take a couple seconds and then we got him. But unlike the others, Green Arrow doesn't have any goofy mental weaknesses, so it's going to be very hard to defeat. <laughs> oh, never mind. I'm going to be honest with you here. I don't think Green Arrow should even be in the Justice League. I can understand Batman because he's like a master tactician and he kind of funds the whole operation. But this guy, I mean, Crazy Bill could give Oliver a run for his money. <laughs> With Aquaman, you're lucky he's out of the sea. Because if he was fighting you in there, you should probably say your goodbyes now. But you have the home advantage. Now, this isn't common knowledge, I don't think. But Aquaman cannot go an hour without touching water. So when he arrives, lock him in one of these. Because this man will not be getting any water or grip to punch his way out of this. And let me tell you, he might even run out of air. Because I've been in one of these things and I swear I was running out of auction. Now, for Wonder Woman, I would just say take care of her. Treat her nicely. Buy her flowers once in a while and she'll leave you for another guy. Martian Manhunter. This guy is horrified of fire, like he hates it. So just grab one of these, but he can use mind control. So just wear one of these. So I'll just do a circle of fire and track where the smoke goes to see if he breaks through. I don't know what I'm saying, but if he has a different writer, you can only negotiate with these Chiros. I think they're called. Huh? Chacos? They're his favorite snacks, so just give him these and it will leave you alone. Now for Superman, the Man of Steel, the big blue boy. Just use Kryptonite, it's everywhere and it's Superman's biggest weakness. I don't get it, he's the strongest character in DC until some magic stone appears. So just find a girl that likes astrology, they have Kryptonite, for some reason they always have some type of stone, and get a gun and you'll be fine. And honestly, I'm surprised Superman's made it this far with the amount of bad writing that follows him. Like bro, just take it off your neck! But Green Lantern doesn't have the same weaknesses, so it's not gonna be as simple as- <laughs> No, no, don't worry. Just just paint yourself yellow. Jump into some paint. Dress up as SpongeBob. I don't know. Just make sure the same room is yellow and he can't do anything. It's a horrible weakness. What can these guys really even do? They have the most powerful weapon in all of fiction. But if the guy's dressed up as SpongeBob, they can't do anything. So whatever weapon you're gonna use, just make sure it's yellow and Green Lantern is toast. Now for the Flash, it's gonna be really hard to kill him. So before I tell you, can you please help me get to 500 subs? I'm halfway there. So for the Flash, I'm gonna be honest, just put an EMP on there and Iris and the others won't be able to talk to him whatsoever. He'll just turn into a stupid caveman and you can definitely handle that. But if it's someone else, you're gonna need an icy area so he can't run and he'll just be slipping over all over the place. But if it's a different writer, you're doomed. You should also sub and watch this video right here. See ya.